Hey guys, it's Amic Zero with your Thursday video, November 11th. Today I'm going to show you how to crack into a user's account on Windows 7. This has uh, been known for quite a long time, but I figured those of you who don't know this already should know. So uh, before we get into it, I'm just going to hop into uh, telling you how uh, computers store passwords. All right, this includes websites and everything. So Basically, no website or computer stores your password as your plain text password as a security uh, issue. If it was stored in plain text, any human being could read it, and that would be an issue. Instead, computers uh, encrypt them into something you cannot reverse, but if you encrypt the same thing again, uh, it will come out to the same thing. So that was confusing. Uh, I'm going to throw up a little picture for you. So basically, you put in your password the computer scrambles it into this algorithm and stores that now when you go to log in again it then scrambles that password using the same method and checks to see if that is in the uh, database of passwords if it is you are granted access if it's not you have the wrong password okay so now the way we do this and by cracking in is by checking every password in a massive list of tons of words from a, a dictionary, from a, a novel, from a list of famous actors and actresses, uh, just a massive list of everything that could possibly be in your password. So if you have a common password, uh, it will be found. Um, that is the most, that is the most used method is uh, called a dictionary attack. There's other ways to do it, but we're not going to go into that. So. Now, how do we prevent something like a dictionary attack where someone tries a whole bunch of passwords? We do something called a salt, which most places do. They scramble your, they take your password, whatever it may be, um, then they add one, two, three, four, five at the end to everyone's password. Not that per se, it'll be a lot more complicated. Um, and then they scramble it so that no one can do a dictionary attack because they won't have that one, two, three, four, five part at the end. Now, in all actuality, they're adding like percent signs and number signs every third character or something like that. So, the issue here is for some reason, Windows doesn't salt your password. So, it's perfectly vulnerable to a regular old dictionary attack, which I'm going to show you. So, what you're going to need is Kane Enable, and uh, I will have a link in the description for you. Listen, your antivirus is going to hate it. Antivirus is hate can enable this is not a virus you can google can enable yourself and go find it um, I'm providing you a link if you don't want to download it that's fine if your antivirus freaks out don't say anything I'm telling you right now it will freak out okay now that we have that out of the way open up can enable and you will be presented with this screen really really easy click on your cracker tab and it should be empty like this um, what I want you to do is click inside the white box right here, and then upside, up on the top you should see a blue plus sign, uh, illuminate. Click that, and make sure that this is checked off, which it should be by default. Import hashes from local system, and press next. Now, you should see a list of hashes. These are those scrambled, uh, passwords that I was talking about. They take your actual password, scramble it, and turn it into this, where it says LM hash. Ignore the NT and everything else, basically. Now, I created this user account on my computer called Secret. This is your uh, account that was uh, either created that you want to get into, maybe you created it and forgot your password, but you still have access to your other account, uh, something like that. So we're just going to right click, hit dictionary attack, and then NT LM hashes. Okay. Um, now up top where it says dictionary attack, just go ahead and right click in that box and hit add to list. And inside can enables folder is already a word list ready for you to use. Just go ahead and click word list and then click here. Now this is a very, very small word list and it's not very good. If you want a better one, go on Google and find different types of word lists like lists of popular names, lists of famous movie stars, list of uh, dictionary words, any type of list that you want. And then in the options, we have a few things that we can uh, pick. Um, basically, the first one, password is, it will just try each password regularly. Of course, you want that one in. The next one's reverse. They'll try each password and then each password backwards. Double speaks for itself. Lowercase, uppercase, both speak for themselves. 
Um, number sub perm, it's kind of like they'll replace all S's with fives and like A's with fours and make it kind of like leet speak. So that one might be useful, but it takes a very long time. Um, and then there's two number hybrid brute. Um, basically, if you add numbers to the end, like a, like a birthday, like a 19, and then whatever, you know, the numbers would be after that, they'll try and guess those. Um, I would leave that on. It's also common. And then you're just going to press uh, start. Okay, and when you press start, uh, it will go through the list and try and find uh, your password. So, it says right here, plain text of blah, 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 that's the hash, is duck, which is correct. That's what I put in there. So now you've successfully cracked the uh, Windows user password. So if you ever forget yours, that's a good way to get in. Um, if you need to get on someone else's, that's illegal and you shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Windows doesn't solve passwords. I'm not sure why. It's one of the most fundamental... I mean, if you have anything that stores a password, you, you salt it. It's just what you do. Um, <laughs> big mistake on Microsoft's part. So now if you're on my computer and you want to get into the secret account, use the password duck. Uh, obviously, I hope you have a less common password. Um, recommendations really fast. Longer than eight characters. Use numbers. One symbol if you can. Please try and use a symbol. Um, really throws off all dictionary attacks. It's just uh, their symbols are not common at all. No one uses them. Therefore, you are way less vulnerable to anyone cracking your account. Um, so if you can just at the end throw in a star, that would make all your passwords perfect. Um, obviously, don't tell anyone to star. Um, you know, or if you want to use your regular password, but in between each letter, put in like a period or put in an at sign, something to totally throw off uh, password dictionary attacks and things like that. Okay, uh, that was your Thursday video. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Uh, follow me on the Twitter. Uh, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. I'll see you guys next week.